Welcome to New Mexico Entertainment, the podcast. Hello again. This is Teresa Robinson, publisher and editor-in-chief of New Mexico Entertainment Magazine, and we are back with a new episode of New Mexico Entertainment, the podcast. This interview is definitely one I was very excited about. Um, Renee Goldsberry was an actress that I've watched since I was a child with my mother on One Life to Live, and to see her advance in her success being recognized for her amazing work in Hamilton, it was no surprise that the discussion we had today was about her one-woman show that came to Pope Joy Hall just a little while ago. So enjoy. Hello. Hello, Renee. How are you? Great. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you for taking time out today to talk with me. Oh, I'm excited to talk to you. I'm excited about the concert. So are we. So are we. So I wanted to um, actually start with kind of going back a little bit on how you started um, in this journey. Where, when did you realize that acting, performing was in your bones and was going to be a part of your future? Eight years old. Eight years old. Absolutely. Well, wow. actually, you know what? I, that might be late. That's when I knew love. I, I loved putting on a show in the theater. I discovered my love of singing. Well, I guess like every child in the world, when I started, when, as soon as I could, you know, I think that I think every kid loves singing and wants to, and thinks they're going to grow up doing it professionally. Um, but I had a cousin who used to have me sing her favorite songs for her all the time. Because there was no Spotify. (laughs) And so she used to always say, Renee, sing always and forever. You know, and anytime she wanted to hear it, because otherwise she just had to wait for the radio to play it. Yep. And um, I have a very talented family. I have, you know, they're all extremely intelligent and powerful and smart. They have many, many, you know, successes in their lives. And this was the one thing that I could do that was special. And um, it meant a lot to me, and it still does. Um, it's it's interesting. Uh, it's a real generational thing in our household when it comes to your career, um, in the sense that I watched you on One Life to Live with my mother. And oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's the first time I saw you. And then when you were on Allie McBeal, I was like, oh, my God, that's Evangeline. I was, like, so excited. I knew you, you know, watching you from One Life to Live, going to Allie McBeal, and then my daughter, um, when we experienced Rent, and she got to see it. Oh, wonderful! Uh, she saw you, and I was like, I, "So it's so funny what it's ingrained when you see somebody for the first time." And I just kept thinking, "I knew you sang. I knew you sang. That was not a surprise." There was something when I saw it on Broadway that I was like, "Wow, she can do that too!" So seeing you oh. as Oh, thank you. Yeah, seeing you as Mimi and Rhett, and then of course Hamilton, that was amazing. So it's a generational thing in our household when it comes to you and performance. Is has there been a challenge um in making the switch from television to film to Broadway? Have you ever found a challenge in switching it up? Not really. Uh I think that there's a challenge in getting a job always. <laughs> <laughs> Getting any job anywhere is always challenging, but to to the transfer of skills to do this thing that you love in the different mediums it has not been a challenge for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's you know it's it's you know it's it's truly just the getting you know to work um, in these wonderful projects that that's that's the miracle of it. But um, you know, like I was, my husband and I were joking the other day um, about. Uh, oh, I know what happened. Uh, DMC from Run DMC came to my daughter's school. Oh wow, <laughs> to speak and um, and uh, and anyway, and it just reminded me of what you're saying. Like my daughter has an experience with him as a as a person that speaks at schools and inspired them. But mine, it was like falling in love with this rap song. Like this is it's like that, and that's the way it is. Like a million years ago when I was her age. And so he had signed a little thing for me and he wrote that that's the way it is. And I was like, oh my God, Alexis, that's my husband's name. I was like, you know, he doesn't know, but I learned how to rap. 
I learned how to rap with that song. And here I am, you know, so many years later rapping on Hamilton. You know, I was just kind of talking about how, you know, didn't we all grow up with, I said, didn't we all grow up rapping with these songs on the radio? It's what was, it wasn't really a big deal to be a rapper on Broadway because, you know, I hadn't done it professionally, but that's, I grew up with this music. And he said, you think it's not a big deal. You know, <laughs> you just, you'd be doing it anyway. <laughs> but not everybody's going to get up on stage and, and be able to rap, Renee. And I'm like, no, you know, so I, I think sometimes maybe I think it's um, the transition is a little different just because it's something I, I just thought I love doing so much and I'd be doing it in my bathroom. I'd be doing uh-huh. it in a closet. I, I would be doing it in the car. You know, I'd be making my kids watch me. I, I'd be doing it wherever they would have me. Um, and so I'm now I get to come to Albuquerque, you know. <laughs> wherever I get to do this thing I, I I show up and I and I do it with so much joy and, and it really is um as big of a blessing maybe bigger of, of a blessing for me than it than it is perhaps for anyone watching me <laughs> <laughs> well the idea of this show I mean it's no surprise you have the material to create a show of this caliber but I was just wondering where the inspiration came from to create your one woman show I just got the invitation that that's where it came from. I, you know, I, I had, well, I actually, you know, Leslie Odom Jr. had left uh, Hamilton before me and he was doing a, an amazing job carving out this territory of, you know, recording music and doing concerts all over the country. And uh, I had gotten invited. I was, I was invited to, I think somewhere in St. Louis, or I can't remember, Indianapolis. I, I, I was invited somewhere to do a cabaret or a concert. And it was a small set with just me and a piano player. And it was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it took so much energy to pull it off. I mean, it, it, I was, it was a, tr- I loved it doing it. Um, and it was hard to put together. And he looked at me and he was like, why don't you just start working with my management and, you know, and do it in, in a, in a, in a bigger way. And wow. we started getting, uh, um, you know, in, invitations to come to the beautiful, this is Pope Joy theaters of this country. Right. Um, and so then it was like, okay, um, now I have to put a show together. So the inspiration really was the invitation. And I, I really credit Hamilton for that. Um, giving me a, a, you know, you know, they, they were like, Hey, what do you, do you perhaps have programming for this big theater? Because we'll come, we'll come and listen to you. And so I was like, wow. Okay. All of these songs from these shows I've been in, let's, let's put a show together. And then I added to that, music that is uh has a similarity to Hamilton and not in that it's the same style but that it is great songs that we know and love that are actually um good for us i think that hamilton is a is a meal that is not only amazing not not only does it taste amazing it's good for you mm-hmm. um and i feel that there's a lot of songs like that um, across our across our you know many genres of 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 music you know pop songs rock songs country songs folk songs jazz songs classic songs there's so many types of music that have those little nuggets of of gold there and so we've picked out um one from every genre and we do them we play them and it's and it turns into a fantastic hour and a half Wonderful. Well, what would you want audiences to feel when they walk out of that theater after seeing the show? I want them to feel that they know me (laughs) and that they had, you know, they, they had um, just from that time we got to spend together um, as much as I could possibly share with them about um, the journey that I've had, um, which has been really awesome. I've had the opportunity to work with some really amazing people and to, and to be part of um, a, some, some really awesome storytelling in the world. And, um, you know, there, there have been some challenges in there and there have been some uh, triumphs. And I think thing, big things happen to all of us because we share them. So that's one thing I'd love. And, I, I, and, and most importantly, I want them to enjoy being in the most beautiful place there is to be in the world. And that is the theater that is in your town, you know, 
um, listening communally with the community to great music. I want I want them to leave inspired by by that experience. Wonderful. Well, Renee, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My daughter is going to be so proud of me. Um, I hope she comes to the show. Oh, I will be there. We are, me and her are planning on being there. Wonderful. We will definitely be there. So thank you again for the time and we are looking forward to it. Well, thank you. Lovely to talk to you and I'll see you in a couple days. All righty. Thank you. Bye. Bye.